Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragio. Hey. And Ben from Nolan CCG. Hello. How was I don't our know why week? I did that. Yeah, I don't know why. You did that. <laughs> I just wanted to do a change from normal, you know? I liked it. I almost feel like India's swivel chair and a white cat. Yes. <laughs> Except I don't want a cat. Dog. Doesn't have the same ring with dog, though. I still want it. I want a griffin that has a big beard and I can turn around and it can have its big beard and just be like, <laughs> yeah. How was our week in Yu Gi Oh? <laughs> um, let's start with Ben. We're starting with Ben. Okay. Yeah. What a week in Yu Gi Oh! What a fucking week. Tuesday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of whether or not I go low, high, low, or low, low, high, or high, low, low. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, high, high, high. Well, do so, it like a like a. You've worked in HR and you know all that stuff. You have to do the sandwich. You have okay. to start low, then high, then low. You're supposed to do high, low, high. Yeah, but you don't have two highs. I only have the one high. <laughs> you just have a lovely filling of a shit sandwich. <laughs> okay. Yes. So. So on Tuesday I lost to Lucas and Shifter. Today I lost to Lucas and Shifter. Um, so that's my two regular formats in Yu-Gi-Oh. So stale ass bread. What's the filling? Uh, the feeling is that I won Edison. I am the best old player. <laughs> Turns out normal summoning a gadget every turn for nine turns in a row is pretty good. I would like 20, 10 meter be there. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, really liked playing Edison. I had a really good time. Mm. Uh, it was very different in terms of change of pace and style and everything like that, like, I don't think, apart from maybe sometimes against Jake, I never felt like I was losing control of him. Yay! I put pressure on him! <laughs> Mainly because every time I was like, time for some chip damage, battle fader. I yeah. Was like, okay, time for some chip damage, battle fader. Yeah. And then by, he started looping gores, and by that point, I was like, okay, chip damage, try and bait the gores. <laughs> Attack for 12, try and bait the gores. Attack for 13, try and bait the gores. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was really fun, actually. The tournament itself was organised quite poorly. Um, but once we were playing, it was fun. Well, uh, getting six people in six? We had at 11, 12. Oh my god. Was, was, it, was it that many? Yeah. It was at minimum 11. Yeah, he did say six matches. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Yeah, because I think I counted 11 and then someone else that I didn't think was going to play showed up and not the the new guy. Hi, new guy. If you ever happen to be watching this, really appreciate it when you came along. Apologies that you had to put up with some degen stuff. Although yeah. I can't remember if anything was super degen. I mean, it play, could be worse. He could have come work. to regular locals and got FTK. Yeah. Yeah. Which we had a pretty back and forth match. Yeah. Do, you want, do you want me to take over from here? Yeah, go away. Uh, yeah, go away. Go here. ahead. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. So he bought black wings. So playing a pure against pure black wings back then is interesting. Well, I haven't seen a proper pure black wing deck in that format in a little bit because okay. usually it's just. I was going to say Tom started playing pure black wing yeah, and realized that pure black wing sucks. Yeah, and, and went to Vayu. <laughs> so it was good to see. And yeah, much like that. So I was on Gladiator Beast, just uh, ready Ari banish whatever they're going to use. And so it's going so slow where it's like, oh, poke with one monster, loop, control, control their graveyard, so I'm not going to lose control of it. And yeah, so it's, it was pretty good. There's multiple turns, but you never really feel like you're going, oh, I've really got to push for damage or I'm going to lose. Yeah. Where, I mean, I've lost some pretty big matches to just going over aggro because I'm like, they'll just counter swing. I don't want to risk the counter swing. So not having to be in that headspace, I'm like, oh, I'm, I think I'm playing a little bit better. I'm bricking like all shit, but... That's, that's the way it goes. Yeah. And just playing Master Jewel with... Oh. God. Yubel. I've got to build you're, it. You're on you. Oh, you want no, to build no, it. No, no, just versing. It's a pain in the ass. I but not that much of yet. a pain in the ass. But still. It's not as bad as other decks. Mm. But you got to respect it. And I do respect it now. Kinda. <laughs> Be keen, oh, I'm just keen for more Edison tournaments. Hopefully we can start firing them monthly. 12 people was pretty good. Yeah. I think we'll be able to do that monthly. Yeah. Easily. If you're around Sydney area or Wollongong, come along. Or even if you said Saturday that. night, once a month. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing, Jake? Uh, yeah. 
the current format bores me to tears. It's just literally. So... Yeah. I see what he did there. You cried? Hmm. No, but it's like very frustrating. I think he's referring to the fact that I've settled on Tier Element as the deck to play because ah, I can't be yes. fucked building A anything pun. else. Yeah. Um, That's good though. Yeah. Well. So, like, there's nothing in the game that appeals to me and I can't be fucked building anything because we're literally like at minimum a week maximum like two and a half from everything changing so I'm just going to wait it out everything changing well puts way too much faith in Konami hopefully everything changing so I'm going to wait to see what the uh, ban list has to offer and then see where things go um and then Master Duel, because my computer miraculously started working again. Hey. Hooray for me. Um, I've been still playing Hawkist. I played the fabled solo mode. That was quite fun. Hmm. It's like um, dangers, but with direction. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's, good. that's a good description of the fabled. Uh, the direction's not far. Yeah, but yeah, but it's a direction. <laughs> it is it a direction. It knows where we're going. <laughs> the path this long, but it's straight. <laughs> That's where you're going. Um, and then... Unlike Lurie. Neither of those. I'm neither of those. Um, what else? Um, oh, in the Edison, I was playing um, Dimensional Alchemist. Uh, that was the deck that I'd chosen. Um, I was doing quite well, but because I'm so unfamiliar with that format, um, I didn't know a lot of things. Uh, for instance, Ben had his entire board on a plate for me at one point because he'd summoned his own Cyber Dragon and kept summoning machines. Yeah. I kind of forgot the whole Chimera Tech thing that I could yeah. have just cleared the board and had a 3,000 attack monster that he would have had to deal with. That's why uh, I was holding more gadgets in my hands because I was like, I can't extend past this. I was just hoping you'd put your own one down and then try and take I my never, shit. I never saw my Cyber Dragon. So I was holding mine for a while to be like, Surely Jake's got a Cyber Dragon in his deck and he's going to try it first and then I'm going to get him in return. And then eventually I was like, well, he's not doing anything and I'm out of kind of random things. I'm going to slap this down and try and put some pressure on with this Cyber Dragon. Yeah, so I feel like if I practiced more in the format slash knew more of the format going into it, I probably would have done better. Um, but also the deck uh, has unsurprisingly the way that i'm playing at the moment consistency issues because the whole point of the deck is you banish stuff off the top of the deck at random mm -hmm. and you hope it's a monster mm -hmm. quite often it was uh my was heavy like storms spells, yeah uh yeah my uh mind controls my fucking like just cards that i wanted in my hand or still like, in my deck at one point against so he shake he banished his heavy storm off his alchemist and i was like oh set three yeah. plus yeah. <laughs> You gotta take a, a a page out of the book of a kid I burst in high school and just you know stack, mm. and then I mean, alchemist. See, that would be a lesson I'd take into all my games, and then I wouldn't be quite so miserable right now. <laughs> just stack, bro. <sighs> yeah, shuffle all your monsters to the middle of the deck. Yeah. When your opponent cuts it, there's got to be a monster there somewhere. Never cut to the middle. Um. Yeah. So, uh, moving on to some news. Uh. So. Uh, da, 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 phone waking up blah, 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 blah. Uh, so through the week uh, we had the second announcement of the blue eyes support that's coming um, so they've gotten that three... was this week yeah yes. this has been a long week it's been a big week this for week. news uh, and it's only going to get bigger the way things are going well not this week next week maybe okay Fingers crossed. Anyway, uh, so they get a level 4 monster that probably won't see play. Uh, this is the Neo Kaiser Seahorse. Uh, so if you control Blue Eyes, special summon it from your hand. Uh, target a light tuner you control, increase or decrease its level by 1. It is a dragon tuner, by the way. Um, and then if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, send one Blue Eyes monster or monster that mentions it from your deck to the graveyard, except itself. I don't ever remember Kaiba using Kaiser Seahorse in the anime. It's it is. There. Yeah, I just don't remember it. I remember when I was little, I got it in the starter deck and I was like... Mm. I always really liked the artwork of oh, Kaiser yeah. Seahorse. It's like a great looking card. But you just don't use it. No. It was actually a good... Um, so yeah. We'll just actually, I, I, used it, <laughs> I used it not to summon Blue Eyes. I used it to summon like Wing Weaver. <laughs> Sang of the Thunder. I don't ever think I put it in my deck because I was like, what's this doing here? Uh, the second card is a trap. The Majesty... It has good stats, though. Yeah. Back then. It was, yeah. It was I like, think 1,700 oh, for a, a level 4 was not terrible. And it threatened... I thought 
for some reason I think it's a five, but it's not. No. My brain tells You're me. You're probably it's a thinking five. of um, Kaiser Dragon. No. Has anyone ever thought then of Kaiser just, Dragon? You're just playing wrong then. Yeah, no. I also liked Kaiser Dragon. What? Who thinks of... The card is so unremarkable. Jake likes a lot it's of Kaisers. Arms look, it's arms look like... Um, really? Dragon Run, but... <laughs> really? Jake, There's me. so much other ammunition coming in this podcast to attack me on, and you choose right now. Like, am I just got to cop it throughout this podcast? Is that what you're telling me? Darts players get three darts. What was the name of the Kaiser the Seahorse again? Neo Kaiser Seahorse. So it's still a seahorse, it is a dragon. Mm-hmm. Remember, this is like some whenever they're doing shit. anime support, they always just go, hmm. Neo. Yeah. Hmm. Neo dragon swordsman. And Neo man eat a bug. When do we get Neo Dark Magician? Oh, it has to be, surely. Are they going to put him in like the full leather jacket and the glasses? And have him dodging the burst dream of destruction, going. When did we ever get Swordsman of Landstar support? We didn't. When's that coming? Yeah, where's so- Swordsman of Earthstar? Yeah. No, it's the same thing. Yeah. Or Sky. Yeah, sure. Sky Star. <laughs> That's, that, thank you. There was other little swordsman ish cards. Yeah. Like I just don't swordsman. think we ever got them. No, 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 no. There were other Landstar cards. We just never got them. There was like a musketeer of Landstar. I'm oh, sure. Oh, interesting. Where's the Landstar cards? Give us the Landstar deck. Hey, now. Anyway, back to Blue Eyes. Uh, they get a trap. Uh, the, we don't need the majesty, the trap. yeah, the trap's not great. Uh, does let you ritual summon off turn from graveyard though, because that'll happen. Next card. Uh, what does read the mean? link one, Jake? In fairness. Oh yeah, God. In fairness, the trap isn't great, but it's not that bad. Yep. You. you start but it's not with a link the trap. One. You, you don't. You, next. Spirit with the eyes of blue. Light dragon. What's link. Uh, one level four or lower dragon monster. It is in fact a link one, if you hadn't seen, which I imagine you would have. Um, if this card is link summoned, take a mausoleum of white from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. Uh, while it's on the board, you cannot special summon except for dragons, and then tribute this card, special summon a blue eyes monster from your hand or graveyard, but if you special summon an effect monster from the graveyard, it cannot attack and its effects are negated. The fact that it locks you to dragons while on field is the, the most... Anyway. Redundant. <laughs> yeah, because then you just immediately sack it for the blue eyes. Yeah, <laughs> e- even if like you're using it in some like convoluted blue eyes combo deck, and someone imperms it, you're just like, oh no, tribute it. <laughs> you can use this in um, Hawkers, yeah. Oh yeah, someone posted a thing that's like, oh yeah, you can do this with Alistair Lincoln to this, blah, 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 make Beatrice, and I'm like, I'll stop you there. <laughs> you can make a H seal. Yeah. Lots of decks can make a H seal. Yeah, yeah. Dragon Mates can make a but H also, seal. Yeah, but you just make a H seal with it and it's, you're not dragon locked anymore. Just uh, Blue Eyes White Dragons, you need Garnet. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, to be fair, deserves to be. The ultimate engine. Yeah. So, um, for the OCG, they've also got some notable reprints coming in that structure deck for the Blue Eyes. Oh, yeah, they do. Uh, so, Nibiru, Ash Blossom, Max Z, Double Effect Veiler, because one's searchable and one's. Meant to be a hand trap. Uh, Two trade in because it's blue eyes. You need them. You're gonna. The OCG is pretty normal as to. They know you're gonna buy multiple. Uh, Call by the grave, infinite impermanence, and the heavenly spheres. Oh, I thought you were gonna say um, the fusion. No. Isn't the fusion in the starter deck? I mean, no. This is just reprints that they've announced. Yeah, but magic is in the starter deck. We don't know. Why is Valor a spellcaster anyway? Please comment down below if they, it is in the starter deck. Um, I don't think it's been announced. Otherwise, I feel like it would have been here somewhere. Yeah. I, I swear people are like panicking because it's in their starter deck and they're like, what if, what if they put it in ours? Yeah, I'm curious whether I've that just has... paid $800. Well, I'm curious now if that has affected the market. I'm going to do a quick check on TCG ah, Player. The people that are commenting down below already have told us. Thanks, guy down below. We'll go. Dragon it's appreciated. Master. You probably should. Magia. Like, just make it a common. <laughs> Which I like, yeah, if you want a pretty one, you have to spend... Uh, it should be a hundred bucks still. No! What? It has not affected the market dramatically. Um, I'm gonna buy one. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> Here we go. Well, you're going to be 949 US dollars short. Someone will sell me one for a dollar. 
Are you going to pull a lozzer and just get one of your peeps to like run it up here to the apartment, are you? That was not shade, by the way. Drop it off at Macca's Wollongong. Wait, so hang on. I, I apologise for the visual gag to our audio listeners there. Um, I pointed and then thumbs it up and pointed. Um, There's one for $15. Oh, I got, I got I'm a good 100% deal. sure it's real. It's with picture. Click the picture. Oh, damn. <laughs> Can't click the picture. It's probably a Japanese copy. True. Yep. Speaking of Japanese copies, I'm going to buy some of these starter decks when we go over there. Oh, yeah. Um... Uh, speaking. Three. No, actually, it's no, not really speaking one. of Japan. Um, three we... Maxi, three Ash Blossom. Yeah. Plus, they cost like eight bucks. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, a little while ago, we very much glazed over a piece of water support that was announced as a V Jump promo. We now know what that is. Uh, so, Ice Princess Zerorot. Uh, it's a level five water winged beast. It's like a Raid Raptor from this angle. A little bit, yeah. Um, so He's Glazing over princesses. So Classic uh, Jake. If a water Xyz is on the field, special summon this card from your hand. During the main phase, detach an Xyz material from a monster you control, then special summon this one level three or support. four. Yeah, this card's sick. Special summon one level three or four water from uh, your hand or graveyard oh. that's effects negated. Also, if it's used for an Xyz oh, summon of a water monster, it can be treated as a level five. Eh. Um, that's kind of cool utility. Shark for support. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is straight up a shark card, which I'm surprised didn't already exist. I mean, they've got a lot of stuff that's very similar to this, but it's nice that, like, you make your Bahamut Shark, uh, make a Toad, summon this, detach the useless material from the Bahamut, summon back something, make something else. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. It's not bad. Not going to use it. I mean, yeah, because it's sharks. Some people will. The people who like sharks. Mm. Maybe they're scared of things that fly, though. Maybe like, I only play sea serpents and fish in my deck. Damn the ocean fish. holds many mysteries, including who killed my father. <laughs> oh my god. That's a did that also happen to Shark? No, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I was like, wait, did they just recycle the same plotline? I never watched <laughs> they the They just called to Disney and all of his animations are just exactly the same, just the new skin on top. <laughs> They've just reskinned all the Mako Tsunami <laughs> episodes. <laughs> That's why he has such crazy hair, because I needed to work out how they're going to cover the headband. He's an anime protagonist. He has that crazy hair. Hmm. Uh, moving on. Uh, so, we have another card announced for the Raziel archetype for Crossover Breakers. Uh, so this is a field spell. Um, while it's up, you cannot uh, Xe summon monsters with the same name as Kaja Control. Uh, so if you have to That's start... That's a weird lock. It is a weird lock. Uh, it also means that if this is on the board, you can't then make F-Zero. Coward should have made that be able to affect both sides. What? Oh, does it require the same name? Yeah, you can't... Uh, yeah. D I don't know if it does require the same name, but quite often people, like, do it in engines that make it easy because you just use the same, the same name. name. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've all seen people do the fucking... Any single time you can make a ghost trick, you make F-Zero. Including you. Yeah. <laughs> um, second effect. Uh, target two Raziel cards in your graveyard except for the field spell. Uh, place them in any order on the bottom of the deck, <sighs> then draw one card. This card, this deck, this card sucks. No, no. The third effect. I was going to say, it's, this has to have an effect that gives you advantage. Once per turn, when an opponent activates a monster effect resolves, uh, when your opponent's activated monster effect resolves, detach a material from your Raziel Xyz monster, and if you do, negate that effect. What? That's that's mistranslated. I don't know if it is. I think it reads kind of like the um, Mizuchi scale, in or that it's... like at the end of the resolution you can choose. So to it doesn't negate. activate. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It just goes. Boop. Nope. Yeah. That's wild. It's good to protect from Nibiru, because that's quite often where Xyz decks tend to fall down. Yeah. Well, the think... field spells in the game, not the monster. That's. Yeah, hmm. it's a bit different. Also, the first translation I read of this didn't have you drawing any cards off the recycle. Oh, so yeah. I was literally just put two cards back. I was like, that's fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah. It's, it still needs... I think this still probably should have given you more advantage. 
Probably. And like of the three archetypes in there now, it does seem the weakest of the three. Like the most consistent, it, I've seen replays of it, it is very consistent at building it its board. Do... It's just this board doesn't do anything. It probably should have been put two back, add one, instead of put two back, draw a card. So mm. Put two back, add one with a different name. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, but in the last couple of days, we've also had the third archetype announced, which is the Malice archetype. It was late. It was late. Yes, yes it was. I see what you did there. Uh, so... I, okay, I have a confession. Oh, and I wanted to wait till this exact point. Okay. I have not looked at any of these arts or read any of these cards. Everyone, well! Everyone's just been going on with references and going on with talking about how cool they are and all these things that I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Huh. I have not looked at any of these. Okay, so surface uh, level, you're aware of like what the theme I, of the deck is. Right? I'm somehow assuming that it's waifus that are... I forgot. Alice in Wonderland. Yes. yes. For some reason my brain wanted to say Mary Poppins through the looking glass. <laughs> <laughs> the, the crossover Disney's too afraid to make. Yeah. <laughs> so. Where's um, my Mary Poppins movie? Sequel? Trilogy. Cool. Yeah, actually, was the Emily Blunt remake a remake? Or was it a sequel? Disney movies anymore. Mm, true. I don't know what Emily Blunt movie you're talking about. <laughs> the remake slash sequel of Mary Poppins. Oh. So one wishes with Tom Cruise. No, that's Edge of Tomorrow. That's a Mary Poppins sequel. Damn. <laughs> yeah. The world turned to shit after those kids cut those corners. <laughs> I'm just now imagining Edge of Tomorrow, which is like dudes in mechas fighting aliens, and then all of a sudden some bitch in an umbrella comes sweeping into the battlefield. GBOP as well. That's how the movie ends. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, um, I won't read over all of these, but basically it's a cyber spam deck that also likes to be banished, and they get yep. different effects depending on what they are. Some of them will summon, well, most of them will summon themselves back and then do an extra thing. Um, so the link that summons itself back, which is both of them, it gets yeah. huge. Yes. What rating is it? Three. I've again just been talking about it like it's the link one. Well, there's still one link monster to come. Huh? The numbers on the two, like on the two link monsters, is eighteen and twenty. There's numbers. Where's Android nineteen? As in, um, in the the set number. We know so you're hiding Android how they, nineteen. How they lay? It okay, so that one's twenty. This one's 18. Yeah, so we have a 19th monster that will probably be a link because that's mm, how they format it. True, 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 true. What it will be, no clue. Um, but no yeah, the deck seems It'll very consistent. 19. <laughs> so the deck seems very consistent um, and it's, I guess, a little bit of a diversion from the usual trope of Cybers of like, oh, we need all our shit in the bin. They don't give a shit if their shit's in the bin. Mm. Um, but it does end on the typical Cybers boards, unfortunately, which makes it... A little bit boring in that sense, but maybe with furthering support, it'll be a little bit different to that. But a lot of the replays I'm seeing at the moment is just uh, end on singularity, end on like IP, end on link stuff. Because in effect, once you start doing the in deck stuff, it locks you to links. Uh, oh no! They're all, full, <laughs> they're all hackers, by the way. Ah. It's like a hacking virusy sort of thing like cyberspace when does Tweedledee and Tweedledum show up um, not yet yeah, because not yeah because you got the so rabbit. far we have uh, pawn right they're all somewhat related to chess pieces as well yeah. um, so you've got white rabbit you've mm. got Cheshire cat and you've got dormouse um, and then you've got red ransom uh, queen red ransom and yeah. queen hearts of crypta where's um, where's the card that is number seven where's the seven of spades or whichever one it is. Is it the Queen of Spades, the bad guy? Or is it the Queen of Hearts? Queen of Hearts. Uh, yeah, so it's Queen of Hearts one, reason, the, the other Queen's the other one. I, it's at this moment that I realised that we were recycling costumes when I did the production of this in primary school. And they just kind of had hearts and spades oh, and all different cards. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think there were other cards within like the actual thing. Army? I mean, I yeah. watched them yesterday, I remember. Yeah. yeah, no, but the Disney one was very watered down. Oh, like yeah, that, yeah. that sequence was very quick. Um, Only red cards. Yeah, that, that's all I, I don't remember red. Matt Hacker. Yeah, um, I've not got its effect here, but it kind of loosely ties into the yeah, archetype. It it's featured itself. on one of the cards, and yeah, it's a Cybos card that likes to banish. Yeah. It's the Mad Hatter. Hacker. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we don't want to get sued. That's yeah. the implication, yeah. 
does Disney own it? Surely it's in public domain. No, it was very much public domain. Yeah. And oh, then, it's public domain? Yeah, that's the whole Yay. reason they had it. Because Disney used the public domain to make all of us money and then protects its own IP. Can we do this versus Cosmo? Maybe. This very much seems like this just could have been Cosmo cards. But... Oh, that would be so cool. Yeah. Ah, well. I want Cosmo support. That's way too late for that. Oh, and also shout out to them for printing the names uh, in English on the cards because, I mean, that's how they get the upside down A, which is going to be a pain in the ass, and I want to know what the English will do with it. But yeah, that's also it means that these weren't mistranslated. Woo! Okay. So, uh, before we move on to questions... Oh, that uh, was all the news? That was all the news. Oh, I thought that was more news. No. Anyway. Well, the next YCS is next week, so we don't really have anything to report oh from that. God, we're getting right into it. YCS next week? Fuck, an August YCS, has that ever happened? Is there a YCS next week? I thought it was regionals next week. Oh, hang on. Let me double check. I thought regionals start next week. Let me double check. OCS is the next week. Do, 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 do. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna get stomped in that. Top two only get invites? Only top two. I can't wait to get shifted out of him. Do they run OTSs in, um, in the States? Yeah. So it's YCS oh, Sacramento yeah. that I'm thinking of. Next weekend. Sacramento, Sacramento, there I go. 2024. Uh, yeah, 17th and 18th of August. We're not getting the ban list this week. We'll get the ban list after. Well, um, on a popular new YouTuber's uh, voting thing, uh, whopping 81% are in agreement with you that it'll either be during or after that YCS. Who is they the popular talking? YouTuber? Is the one Yada. that I hate? Oh, he's cool. I like that guy. Yeah, yeah. If they dropped it during like a that stream, that'd be sick. Well, they did that with the last band list, remember? Huh? They dropped it during stream? Well, they yeah, they dropped it during the YCS. Yeah, but they didn't drop it during the stream. Yeah, no, because it's a American YCS. And on a wait, is it Europe or America that does stream super consistently? Europe, because they haven't had YCSs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure it's America that doesn't stream all that often. Jerome shows up all the time, otherwise we wouldn't have the Jerome memes. I don't know, maybe but, it's changed since the last I mean, time they have missed, it. They've missed like one or two and they also miss all of the South American ones. Yeah, but South America. No one ever They're in the same South boat Americans. as us, no one gives a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon they share the same budget as North America? Or do you reckon they're their own budget? Surely they're their own budget. We don't have our own budget. Sacramento. We're in the European budget. Sacramento, there I go. Please say budget. Have to be. Yeah. Surely. Anyway, um, as we're referring to, uh, the ban list being announced in late August, according to the announcement, uh, is soon upon us. So uh, yeah. here to share some thoughts are us three, who definitely know what we're talking about. Uh, and am, Ben has requested to start. Yes, because I am the most correct person ever in our ban lists. Go back, check the data. And check right. shit. Yep. The only time I ever consistently lost was when Lachlan would make up the rules whenever we were actually doing the band list review just so that the rules tailored him. Shocking. Anyway, anyway TikTok, here's my band list. <laughs> um, so band is Hot Red Dragon, uh, the big Oh big yeah, guy. I forgot about that card. Hot Red Turnskip Dragon. Yep. Um, then I have uh, Albie and the Sanctified Dragon, also oh. banned. Uh, Beatrice, also banned. Hands away, Jake. Don't change your list. I see that keyboard up. <laughs> the keyboard's always up. That's how it works. He'll be in the next video. One's pretty tight. Uh, that is all my bands. Uh, for limited, I have, uh, I think it's number 40, the puppet one. The gimmick puppet, Bernie, XEs. It's literally sitting right there. Yeah. yeah. Nah. That one. Ban that. Oh, lim limit. Limit, that. Yeah, limit, limit, limit that. Limit that. Limit um, that. Snake Eyes Ash, limited. That is my only Snake Eyes hit. <laughs> I have Shocking. One, I have one more than that. Because they've banned Beatrice. Yep. I'm going with, they're just going to limit that and be like, see what happens. Yep. Um, also limited skill drain. Tossed up on that being banned. Um, then my limited, I had to have a card from Ubel. I opted for Nightmare Pain. Simply because in the situations where you can hand trap your opponent and they don't get to Nightmare Pain, it's significantly easy to deal with that board. Um... So yeah, that's my limiteds. I probably missed something. Don't know. Um, for my semi-limiteds, I have Kirin. Um, although it could just go to three, although Konami will just seemingly do the Konami thing and the card that they do the big, oh, we took it off the ban list, always goes to two instead of three. In reality, it should just go on to three in the first place. Uh, and then for unlimited, I have all the Dragon Rulers, 
an Armageddon night. Hmm. Yes. And that is my ban list. Would you, you like to go next? Well, my ban list came to me when Ben knocked on my door earlier in the week. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's ban list time. And I'm starting to think of whatever happens. It was a fire alarm. It's a fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> so, my ban list as of a week ago. <clears throat> Apple is a band. Beatrice ban. Lurie ban. I'm not totally tied to that. I think Beatrice gets banned. Lurie doesn't need to be banned. True. Shifter ban. Protoss ban. ban uh, bring it back. Take it away. Yeah. Just like Snatch Steel. Because it's shown up in a few lists that are doing well. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, am I totally committed to it? No. Am I throwing shit at a wall and seeing what sticks? Yes. Summon Sorceress Limit with the Arata in the tin. Oh, that's yeah. what I was forgetting. I also have Ash Limit, Prosperity Limit, Fenrir Limit, Runic Fountain Limit. Yep. Fair. And then Unicorn Semi, Called by Semi, Wanted Semi, Airlifter Semi, and Kieran Semi. Okay. And I'm again not unlimited. Yes. Okay. I like some of those. Um, I will preface this by saying that some decks I ignored because I feel like there's bigger problems. So, bands. Appaloosa, mm -hmm. Hot Red Dragon, mm -hmm. either Fable Lurie or Goddess of the Closed Heaven. Oh, that would be so left field. With a Beatrice ban? Yes. I'm really not tired about Lurie one. That's really aggressive on that deck. Uh, Flame Burge. He's, he's gone troppo. Phantom of Ubel. There's going to be. He's... There's going to also be limits. Oh, here. I meant. I meant to put that in limit. Wait, is this in limit? I was going to say. Yeah, Phantom of your Bell is a limit. Oh, Phantom of your Bell being. You know what I'm saying. That being a limit. Yeah. And dimensional barrier. Oh, does it? Yeah. That's because it's searchable. Yeah. But with, again, with Beatrice Band, not searchable. Thrust makes it searchable, yeah. and it you does. Can't literally skip just go your turn. Beatrice send. <laughs> yeah, no, but still. So then, all the more reason to limit it. At one. Snake Eyes Ash. Oh, ban it. You're banning D, B he ban D Barrier. He banned Flame Burge and limited Snake Eyes Ash. <laughs> I mean, historically, when they need to kill a deck, they go after it. So Flame Burge is the new Kikalos. Yeah, pretty much. Um, after Snake Eyes He's Ash. going to unban Kikalos. No. Uh, wanted. <laughs> Dimensional Shifter. Deck Lockdown. Skill Drain. Plush Fire with the Errata. Wind Up Zen Mating. Grass looks greener. <laughs> and prosperity. To two. Unchained Savara. Shavara. Yeah, I didn't think of any unchained stuff. Uh, Astrograph. Oh, yeah. Suchinoko and Jackalo. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's going to ignore them for a little bit. They keep going, kick. Uh, title. Chicken Game. Just Title. Chicken Game. The title's the only one left. No, I thought. No, isn't didn't we this has come up the other day that they're all limited? Yeah, I couldn't be bothered looking at which ones were that, so that's why I didn't put any dragon laws in my list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember, just title. Remember the part where just, I was playing three Tempest, thinking that Tempest was at three and all the others were at one? Just title. Title's the only one that okay. deserves it. Um Chicken Game and Change of Heart. I don't know about Chicken Game. No. And then to three, uh Ancient Fairy Dragon and Eve Just to see it. Makes literally no it difference. It doesn't need to be a one, yeah. yeah. That's fair. Same with AFD. Yeah, I kind of ignored Brandon on that because like, it's like the one win they've ever had since their like what, inception. Getting the puppet lock? Yeah. It's only happened once. You mean of a YCS? Yeah, at a YCS level. It's you only mean won in once. the deciding game of a YCS? Yes, that has only happened once. Well, if you're weighing up the problems of the format, I think Brandon's pretty far down. It was and close stuff. Also, it topped our WCQ as well. It came second. Yeah, topped. Yeah, sure. Two branded players going to Worlds. Out of a grand total of eight players. And 25 I... 25% of our representatives to Worlds were playing branded. Maybe more, because I didn't check any of the playoffs people. Anyway, I'm not saying it doesn't need an address. I just didn't think of it. Da -da -da -da. When do we think... Oh, I suppose we've already covered when we think it's going to happen. Um, How much of this do we think is going to happen? None of it. Yeah, the problem is... All of it. Like, it depends on how... Like, with these other things they're adding into the tin, how much they think that that'll bolster sales. 
Because if our discussions throughout this sort of last three to six months of them needing snake eyes to sell the tins is true, then either they have to wait until the tins are out, which isn't going to happen because they've already put a time frame of when the ban list is coming, or they soft hit snake eyes, hope to sell the tin still with the soft hits, and then have to come in later on and just murder everything yes. for like the end of your ban list. That's why I think we're getting a Beatrice ban and we're getting a snake eyes sash limit. Yeah, I think that's... that's enough to take the Fiendsmith out of the snake eyes and make it just kind of... Oh, it will, and it will still be good. It will still win events, turbo. but it's changing the course. They get to, they get to cover it a bit differently, and then we just reassess in three months. I need to buy a third pot six months. Yes, mm. yes. Just to be safe, it'll be in the tins. I must be doing anything with poplar. Is it? Oh no, poplar turns this, this year. Yeah, yeah. I I need to poplar back up to forty dollar ultra because everybody needs it. <laughs> I might just if it's. I swear I saw one listed the other day for like twelve dollars. I'm just gonna buy it and be like, figure it out later. Can't go wrong, really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll hopefully see the uh, repercussions of the ban list soon. Was your positive uh, feedback on my list purely for the airlifter semi? No. No. Oh. I don't think that's actually gonna happen. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, when did we do the podcast last week? It was on the 3rd. Okay. So just trying to work out when the questions would start. We didn't draw the questions line. that are where? I'm getting there. Relax. We move on now to questions. If you weren't aware, we Sounds have... Sounds so naggy there. We move on now to questions. He just throws a great segue in the bin. Just kicks it. Just <laughs> spits on it. always throws segues in the bin. The thing is, I didn't know how to do my usual spiel off his segue, so yeah, I binned it. And then you just chose for a worse than usual spiel. Fuck you. The segue gods will be bad. Fuck them. Just coasting around on their little segues, like. <laughs> beep, beep. We move on now to questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from 6R6. What oh, is your before six six question gets read? Jesse, you... what are we lucky trading? Um, we have until YCS to figure that out, probably. Unless you come down here for Edison. <laughs> I like that you checked your watch that you don't wear. It's called a visual gag, Jake. So, six R six question is: What is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh accessory? Individual accessory, or individual accessory? Doesn't need further elaboration. Is the answer playmat, dice, something else? Let's or is not... it a type of sleeve or a type of playmat? Or a backpack. The only context... I know uh... what the good answer is and what the making a point of conversation is. Is it this playmat right here? Is it not? I quite like the Rescue Ace playmat that Kurt got me. It's a very much appreciated gift. Um, is it my favourite Yu-Gi-Oh product of all time? Probably not. In terms of sentimentality, it's pretty high up there. You thought of an answer yet? Yeah, I've had an answer since the oh, start of the question. It was the field center that you got me from, um, I don't know where it was from actually. Uh, the metal one yeah, with uh, Tengisu. Those motherfuckers told me it was going to be serialized. And it came and it was not serialized. I was like, damn. That's okay. I still like it. <laughs> Break. Actually, he still doesn't answer his question, but... Favorite. I don't know, I've not, if nothing's immediately jumped to my mind, so I don't think anything's my favourite. The first thing that jumped to my mind was an old necklace I had. Don't, oh. who, who knows where it went? They've been releasing a fair bit of like Yu-Gi-Oh! related uh, clothing and jewellery in the last sort of six months. None of it great. Oh, my change of heart sweater. I do like that. It's a nice sweater. Stay haunted. They're the people who make it. If you ever want to find out where that sweater is that I wear, that's the website. Please don't wear it when you're around me. <laughs> you think you're going to run into me? Don't wear it. Because there's a fairly high likelihood that I'm probably going to wear it. Don't want to be seen in the same outfit as someone else. Yeah, no. if he's going to a Yu-Gi-Oh event, chances are he will wear a change of heart. So there's like a 66% chance... No, sorry, 33% chance that I will. I just don't want to be known as the guy with the change of heart sweater, so I like to wear it sporadically. I should get a forceful century sweater. <laughs> What's the other one? I'm actually going to go to that website now and see if they do anything else. Uh, oh, pot of green. Would be the other sweater. We're going to get Seb and all the next That's pot of grease sweater. I want Forceful Century for myself. 
So when someone gets into a couple, do they have to get like a delinquent duo matching t-shirt set? It's a good idea. Konami should make that. Valentine's Talons Day doesn't do delinquent duo. Hmm? Talons doesn't do delinquent duo. Their website's just we, kind of loading. Why do we have to liken it to Talents? Well, if he has oh, yo! Heart, force century, he has put a grade. Rayquaza ring. Ah, uh, yes. Yu-Gi-Oh product. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't even know what my favorite Pokemon accessory there, there is a new sweater. Oh, there is a new sweater. Oh, my God. What is it? It's Injection Fairy Lily. Oh, I hate oh, it. My God. And there's a matching tote. I'm uh, gonna buy this tote. <laughs> I hate that so much. I'm buying this tote. Uh, anyway, um, next question. Wait, have you answered your favorite? I've decided I don't care. Next question. What IRL Yu-Gi-Oh related merchandise slash product do you think they need to stop making? Guys. Guys. Oh my fucking guys, Christ. We all need to buy one. Because they have Exodia totes. Oh, The wow. five pieces of Exodia <laughs> as tote bags. <laughs> Gives a left hand. Who, I'm, I'm sorry, but who the fuck is that made for? Like, outside Us. of, like, a group of five people that happen to like Yu-Gi-Oh and also need a bag. There also is a uh, quilted print oh. Flash Knight. Is this Flash Knight? Blade Knight. Blade Knight. Um, so Flash Knight. The fuck is Flash Knight? I don't know. I was getting mixed up with Pokemon's. <laughs> I don't know. Fly, uh, Flash Knight's the pendulum. Uh, and I don't know what card this is. It's just called Yu-Gi-Oh Sweat a Lot 2. Um, it's familiar. It's it's just a shitty, it's not it's a trial shitty... of nightmare, but it's one of those early yeah. vanillas. It's a yeah. I was gonna say it's a crappy vanilla. Oh wait, there's there's multiple options here. Oh, holy shit! So there's. Does it say what that's the name is? Uh, Do, one of the Doom? yep. Coffin cellar. Pot of greed. Pot of, greed! <laughs> of course. Mally. Mally. So you'd have to get um. Another... I'll I'll link this in the Discord by the way. I'll, I'll post this. I'm going to post this website like now. Um, what else have they got there? There's a fucking Sabrina Pad Tapestry for Pokemon. What the fuck? Uh, this is incredible. I'm so so glad that I've come here today. Exodia Toad Bags. Yo, Ultimate Otherwise, Dragon. Ultimate <laughs> pants! Wait, is that two summon that skulls? That is a two sweater? summon skull oh, with monster my... reborn on the arms. Oh my god, I want it! I want it! I want it! Wait, oh, no, that's sick. It's, is it monster reborn? On it's the arms? monster reborn on the arms. Yeah. Oh, there's two. That's weird. This website's insane. Oh, American Psycho. Oh, gross. Let's change parts that one, that one could be for Lucas. Be, oh, load more, guys. God, there is so much. Oh, Spirited Away. Let's have a like that. Yeah. This is. We're on a- we've gone down a tangent of the Yu-Gi-Oh product. I'm gonna post it in the Discord for you guys. Just please don't buy the Change of Heart one. That's mine. Feel free to join us on buying the Exodia Totes. Uh, we will use the Exodia Totes for YCS. Anyway, um, so, uh, 6i6, uh, second question. What IRL Yu-Gi-Oh related merchandise slash product do you think they need to stop making? I don't know what you're gonna say. Uh, do you now? For me... They should stop getting oh, any of their binders. Their binders are useless. Get out. Now, what do you think I was going to say? You say it. The binders. Oh, cool. The binders are terrible quality. Quite often they have shitty art and they don't hold nearly enough. I agree. Bad. Now, yeah. what do you think I was going to say? Something to do with Ash Blossom. I mean, yeah. Well, Ash Blossom was on one of those. <laughs> to yeah. be fair. Yeah, no, the, they haven't the, printed the any Ash products. Blossom related things for ages. Fuck, this is such nice. Yeah, I've been sitting on their sleeves for a while, and by a while I mean a day. Ben? I like this injection fairy okay, list but work. You, you realise we're in the middle of something, right? Yeah, yeah but we've end, already gone on this tangent. Oh, um, the end what you get a product they should stop making? Yes. Um, yeah, the feed Ash sleeves is not great. Those. Not necessarily stop making, but changed with the way they make it. The fucking sh sleeves that they release at the moment, whenever they do those merch drops of like, we released the sleeve, a playmat, or this. They released 55 packs. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Like, they're 55 packs and they're also like $15. Yeah. Like. A hundred. Make them either 70 or a yep. hundred. And charge slightly less if you can like when you go to japan there's, there's, they're 100 packs and they cost you six dollars yeah like 
Fuck you, Konami. And you're getting it from the same printer, I'm almost certain. Yep. It... Ugh. Actually, no, sometimes they're really shit quality compared to the ones that you get from USDG. I would go over and grab all the fucking sleeves that we have sitting waiting to be used, but... You know? I didn't get more sleeves last night. I need better... I, I found some oversleeves I like as well. Finally. Which ones? You know, Tom asked me the same thing, and I didn't answer anything, and I won't answer you. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I lost the packet. <laughs> Was that the purple packet? Or the pink yeah, packet that yeah, I saw? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ben I got them at YCS for stupidly overpriced. Yeah, they, they were charging a lot. Yeah. yeah. 10 bucks on eBay now. Not bad. Next question, again from 6R6. What is your favourite house light and why? Hmm. I don't think I have a favourite house light. Neither do I. That one starting to flicker needs to be replaced. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. How long gone yet, though? Because we rent, I suppose we don't have a lot of choice in house light. I don't like those ones because... No, I don't know. Brag set them up on Wi-Fi, but they just disconnect randomly. It's great. Yeah, Maybe well, it's the studio lights, but I don't least, know. At least being able to dim them. Yeah, studio lights. I like the lamps, but we don't use them enough anymore. Yeah, because we don't have a power points over there. We need more power. We need to put a power board back there. I did, and someone nicked it. <laughs> I don't know I just had a power board out there This is years ago by the way Maybe even pre-U Maybe Now I'm not doing that again Oh actually just randomly um, Not so, Like I don't have a favourite house light All the, the lights in our house are a bit shit um, And one of them is out in the dining room But because we don't use the dining room We've not replaced it I have it. a favourite house light It's the house in my walkway Where my wardrobe is the house in your house. walkway. Sorry, the light in my walkway. In my walkway. Yeah, my walk is like, actually my favourite light. Yeah, like, that's just the convenience of that light being in that location. I appreciate that light for that. I do hate when light placement is poorly thought out. Yeah. There was an apartment that we were selling not too long ago, and it didn't have any light in the, like, entry hall. So, like, you just walk into darkness, and I mm. hate it. Um, but what I was going to bring up is um, another apartment that we're selling at the moment has, um, like... LED lights that like oh, yeah. maybe a foot from the entry wall they sort of make a square and then run down the wall to like frame the bed yeah sick it's for fucking <laughs> I want an LED light my room eventually <laughs> this has been uh, not renovations mm, that's weird home hmm? oh, I just had a missed call home and uh, lifestyle Team c for g does home and lifestyle yes Soon we will have our own TV show where we do remodels of houses. It's going to take a lot of subscribers to our Patreon for that. Yeah. yeah. In the early days, it's going to be a lot of Sims. Yeah, we're going to do Sims remodels. <laughs> it's going to be us loading up a, a fucking house in the Sims and then like using post-it notes to put like what we want to go on walls. <laughs> this is where your giant card goes. <laughs> uh, next question is from Jesse. If you Jesse, can... what are we trading for Pokemon... You already yeah. asked him this. I know. Stop interrupting. I didn't know if he was going to ask a we question answer, in the pod, so I was like... He's always listening, though. I know. But just to reiterate, what are we Jesus. trading? I've got some shinies. They're cool shinies. Jesus fucking Christ. His question is, if Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't exist, what other card game would you be playing, if any? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! exists up to um, like seven. If Yu-Gi-Oh! didn't exist, what other card games would I be playing? Here we go. I don't think I'd be playing card games. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You sure? You don't think, like, the card game enjoying part of your brain would... I never enjoyed Pokemon card game growing up. So it doesn't have that dopamine hit in my brain. That is too easy. It's really easy. We, should, we shouldn't keep repeating this. Oh, we can. It's been about a few months since we've done it. Fuck the Pokemon TCG. Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. Also, like, I, yeah, there, there never would have been a time... Pricing. Yeah. There never would have been a time where I got into Magic. Because, again, that game doesn't give me the same dopamine hit as Yu-Gi-Oh does. Correct. Um, and it just sucks. Um, yeah, that's. I don't think I'd be playing another card game. I think if I were to be playing a card game, it would likely be Pokemon. But yeah, it just doesn't hit the same. It's not yeah. the same. Um, he also asks. I'm assuming this is directed more so at you and maybe at you. How was the incest? Oh, the incest. Yeah. Um, it's fine. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Have I forgotten? All my fingers What's the prompt of this? Uh, he went to a family gathering and said something about incest. All my fingers still work. 
this finger over here on your left hand didn't move throughout that. <laughs> yeah, no, that was intentional. <laughs> I, did, I tried to not do it on both hands. Everything's fine. Blink's eyes independently. <laughs> in the comments or in the Discord, let me know if there's any towns nearby you that you make jokes that they're incest. Like how we joke about Tasmania or Helensburg. Or my descendants. Ancestors? Yeah, descendants is... Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I can't control what they do. <laughs> and... It is what it is. <laughs> and last question is again from 6 i 6 really coming in with those questions this week um actually today only half an hour or an hour ago yeah uh, you got it right there in the next given time, that we just like more or less given that we more or less know the set list for this year's tins why do you think they have chosen to reprint a lot of non-competitive archetypes because they're about to tear everything down weebs six out six why do you want them are you as they say in france le scrub <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, it's not the last question. It's not the last question. Yeah, I didn't phrase it like the question. My bad. Bragg asked the question. <laughs> Even with your edit, you still yeah. haven't phrased yeah. it like <laughs> the question. They're putting a lot of stuff in there because I think it's like the last row of 25th, so they want to get as much 25th related QCRs out there as possible. Yeah. Until the Bonanza. Yeah, the Bonanza will be their big. Get everything out there. Yeah. 289 cards. What a fucking absurd. I'm actually so keen. Actually? Yep. Even though you've got very little idea of what's going to be in it? Yeah, that's the point. I, I, I'm excited for the lottery of what's going to be in that 200 card uh, legacy pool. I see, I see. Uh, so yeah, then the last question is from Bragio. Will TCGs ever be in the Olympics? It depends. I'm talking... You can't get a thesis in, in TCGs. TCGs. I was going to say, will I end up being the ray gun and I'll just like, <laughs> get in there the first round of the Olympics and fucking make an absolute ass hat out of myself? Yeah, what's this tier player doing here in the Olympics in 2050? <laughs> oh, he's mil three <laughs> Mali! Ah! He's flopping around! Because <laughs> if they do... Because they're looking at esports for 36, right? Yeah, over in Brisbane. No, it's 32. That's 32. No, no, they're, yeah, they're, they're, they yeah. wouldn't do esports in Brisbane. We know the internet for no it. No one there can... Oh, true. Oh, mm. That's disappointing, though. If we did, they'd have to upgrade at least Queensland's internet. Yeah. Well, I mean, aren't they closer to the... The Liberals internet? wouldn't have that. <laughs> the Liberals... Yeah. Our Liberals, not they, American Liberals. Yeah. It's, our Liberals are weirdly against progressive anything. Yeah, they're not very liberal. It's kind of confusing. Queensland government would be like, guys, we're going to redo our energy grid. It's going to create more jobs than what we currently do burning fossil fuels. Liberals be like, that's a shit policy because, um... Because you said it. <laughs> um, it's going to ruin the environment because we have to build infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and to answer my own question, no. But mate, I, but... There are uh, a lot of dedicated, like, a, a bunch of these sports, I'm like, yo, I've, we've put more time and effort into this. Bragg just gave his pitch to be a breakdancing person to, um... To Los Angeles. Uh -huh. He put a yo in that sentence. Oh. <laughs> He's ready that to thesis go. is really coming in handy. <laughs> That'll fix the second half class thing. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it? Not? Uh, yeah. I can compare now the two clap sinks that you've given me to know just how far we've gone out of sync. Ah, there we go. You can resync it in the middle. So, be, uh, so all I need to do is make loud noises. Be, is what you tell me. There'll be fifteen frames of song or somewhere. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all. Fingers crossed when the ban list happens? No. Please. Won't happen. We'll see you back Wednesday morning. Two weeks. Two, Two weeks. weeks. Goodbye.